All right, last section, 13.5, looking at auxins as well as weed killers and plants in relation to their coordination and response. Now, the auxin, probably another word you have never used before or heard of, and that's okay. That's what I'm here for, to tell you about it. All right, so plants respond to stimuli by producing something that is called an auxin. It is a growth hormone that controls the direction of growth in our roots and stems of plants. So what an auxin is going to do is ultimately cause an elongation, depending on what side either it's getting the plant is getting sunlight or um, depending on where a plant is responding to dim light with that uh, uh, tropism of the darkness and how the roots are going to grow down and causing the roots to actually grow and stretch down. Now with this image we can depict down here, um, I do want you to kind of pause and, and make sure you understand this. So auxins are made or synth synthesized in the tips of shoots and these shoots are the ends of plants. So we've got auxins here. Think about a plant that is just blooming or budding up from the surface. So the auxins are concentrated here in the ends of the plant. Now, in the presence of strong directional light, auxins diffuse away from it towards the shady side. So auxins like to move toward the shady side. If the light is coming in on whatever side it is, they're going to go towards the shade, towards the darkness. Okay? Now, as the auxins increase on that shady side, they are going to increase growth of cells inside of those stems to grow and elongate that stem. So it will start to bend its, its entire stem body towards the light. So that uneven growth is caused by uneven auxin distribution because remember they collect on the shady side causing elongation. So that's how, when we look at videos of plants and how they respond to light, this is how a plant will turn towards sunlight or grow and stretch itself towards the sunlight. And we have a few videos that will look at that. Um, one plant that's really good at doing this is the sunflower. You can physically see throughout the day, and I grow sunflowers at my house, in my at-home garden, um, and they start facing the sun, and as the day goes on, they move with the sun, and it happens slowly. It's not something that I can just like look out and know it's going um, and see it moving, so to speak, in live time, but if I were to do one of those time warp videos or time-lapse videos, I would be able to see it, and there are plenty of those online, and we will actually look at a few of those. Okay, um, again, you can have this particular um, investigation of looking at the responses of auxins will be provided for you in notes and probably in Edpuzzle. And then very quickly, let's just talk about plant hormones with weed killers. So most weed killers contain synthetic hormones like auxins, and the most popular one that we discuss in our book is 2,4-D. Um, and, and it's like, why am I talking about this? It's so specific, but it's shown up two years ago on an end of the year exam. So it's just important. I even point out the tiniest uh, little pieces of information for y'all. So these are selective. So they're sprayed onto an area such as a lawn or farm crops. And the synthetic auxin affects the weeds, but not the grass or the crops or the plants. So these weed killers, they target with auxins plants that we want to get rid of. So think about people, um, you know, you, a lot of people use the lawn doctor here in town to get their grass nice and green. Well, they can use weed killers to target all the weeds in their yard, get rid of those. So you can have nice, beautiful grass, the stuff that you want in your yard to keep nice and pretty. Ultimately, the weeds respond by growing very, very fast, and then they die because they grow so fast. And that leaves more space, nutrients, and water for the grass and, or crops or plants to grow. Um, so ultimately, that's how a weed killer is going to work. It targets whatever, it's, the auxin is going to target whatever weed specifically that you're dealing with. Um, and it's going to, through auxins, cause that weed to grow so quickly that it can't sustain life. It will die off, thus creating a better chance of survival for the good stuff that's around it, like your grass and plants and crops. 2,4-D is the type of weed killer that the, the, the book likes to point out for, um, for this. So this wraps up this section. Go ahead, get your notes.
head on over to your CFE and then your assignments for the day. Super proud of y'all. And that's it for this unit. We did it. <laughs>